Do you remember those Tesla Model 2 spy shots taken near the Fremont Piga factory that got everyone on the internet talking? In our last breakdown, we uncovered some of the early features hiding under strange camouflage, but now we're going even deeper into the design details that Tesla never intended the public to see. Elon Musk once hinted there might be a few surprises along the way this year, but also promised that this wouldn't just be a change in vehicle style, it would be a change in how vehicles are made. So, what exactly makes this a revolution in car design and production that has Musk so confident? If you've been waiting for an electric car that's not only affordable, but also surprisingly advanced, then what you're about to discover will be right up your alley. The first clue lies in the ground clearance. The leaked Fremont prototype clearly shows a visible gap between the wheel and the arch, and this isn't accidental. Analysts estimate the ground clearance is around 170 mm, which puts it in the same range as cars like the Hyundai Kona or Toyota Yaris cross vehicles, known for mixing urban handling with slight off-road capability. But Tesla isn't just copying trends there, creating something new. This clearance doesn't just raise the ride, it unlocks a new kind of car, a compact electric vehicle that feels like a crossover with real-world usefulness for drivers in cities and suburbs. Why does this matter? Most electric cars under $30,000 sit too low to the ground. The Model 3, for example, only has about 100 mm of clearance, which means it struggles with curbs, snowy roads, or rough city pavement. But with 170 mm of space underneath, Model 2 can glide over 150 mm curbs, potholes, and ice without issue. That makes it perfect for northern U.S. states or hilly suburbs where ground clearance matters. Add that to its total four. Three-meter length compact enough to squeeze into tight parking spots, and you've got a vehicle that can handle Boston winters and San Francisco parking with equal ease. And here's the genius part. More ground clearance allows for taller, softer tires that absorb road bumps better, improving comfort while also protecting the wheels. Over time, this could cut underbody damage by up to 35%, saving owners hundreds of dollars in repairs. Some say Tesla may even be testing a hidden skid plate system that can add 10 mm more clearance on demand first for electric cars in this price range. And this isn't just about looks or driving feel. Tesla's updated modular chassis, refined over the last two years, reportedly lowers production costs by up to 18%. That means Model 2 might launch under 24 double R, 0, 0, 0 making it cheaper than the most affordable Model 3. And this isn't just talk internal Fremont data supports these figures. So, the next time someone says Tesla only builds sedans or giant Cybertrucks, show them what's coming. Imagine driving through snow or over potholes without worrying a Tesla you can actually afford. Do you think Tesla made the right decision by raising it higher than cars like the id, Dot 2, or Nissan Leaf? Now that we've gone over ride height and what it means for comfort and everyday use, let's move up front, where Tesla is hiding an even bigger surprise. Look closely at the prototype's front there's no grill at all. That's not a styling, Chassette's a massive design shift. Tesla has completely removed the air intake grill, using a new underbody airflow system that cools the car from beneath. This cooling system channels air from a front splitter directly under the battery and motor area, cooling everything efficiently while reducing drag. How efficient! Removing the grill improves aerodynamics by up to 0.03, which translates to 3-5% more driving range. On a 250-mile battery, that's an extra 8-12 miles of range without increasing battery size. It's a brilliant move, Tesla. Gives you more distance by taking away parts, not adding them. And the cost benefits are even better. Removing parts like grill shutters and dampers means fewer moving parts, which lowers maintenance costs and complexity. It also lowers emissions during production, cutting about 8 to 10 tons per 100, 
0.000 units perfectly in line with Tesla's long-term carbon goals. For owners, this means fewer repairs and lower maintenance bills, possibly $500 to $700 saved over 100. 000 miles and your battery could even last from 5 to 8% longer. What of Tesla's recent patents reveals a dual-layer cooling system that's even more effective than what's in the Model Y. It can handle extreme heat without issue. By simplifying things like this, Tesla has already reduced the Model Y's build time by 35%, and Model 2 might go even faster. This design isn't just clever, it's Tesla's strategy to meet that $25K price goal while keeping the performance standards people expect. If you've ever driven a car that overheated in hot traffic, think about what this could mean. No grill, no foos, just smarter engineering. And while the front looks smooth and clean, the rear has its own secrets. Look at the back wheels on the prototype. Notice how the rear fender arches bulge out more than the front? That's no design quirk, it means something important. Those wider arches hint at a second motor in the back, likely for an all-wheel drive version. This is where things get really interesting. A rear-wheel drive base version could push out around 125 kW, going from 0 to 60 mph in about 7. 2 seconds great for everyday use. But the dual motor version? It could do 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds, which is seriously fast for a budget car. Those wide fenders are physical proof that Tesla is planning both versions. More importantly, this extra traction from dual motors means better handling in snow, gravel, and rain. In fact, Tesla's torque vectoring system tested in 2025 shows a 12% improvement in cornering. That could make a real difference for drivers in Canada, the northern US, and Europe places often ignored by budget EV makers. Tesla could sell 120, 000 to 150, 000 of these dual motor variants in the first year at $4, 500 to $5. 000 more than the base model and the extra performance would easily be worth it for many buyers. The added capability also makes the Model 2 a real choice for light off-road driving and motorsport. Tesla is even rumored to be planning for rally-style competitions in 2026. The AWD version would also hold its value better, with a projected resale premium of $1,000 to $1,500. So, which would you pick? The basic rear wheel model or the AWD trim with sports car power. But we're not done yet. There's one more change you probably missed. Look again, there are no side mirrors. At first, you might think it's just hidden in the shadows, but this fits perfectly with Tesla's long term goal of replacing side mirrors with cameras. Elon Musk has talked about this for years, and now it's finally happening. Removing mirrors cuts drag by about 0.02 to 0.04, adding up to 612 miles of extra range. And with infrared cameras, Tesla's system sees better than humans in rain or dark conditions up to 65% better, in fact. It's safer, too. Side mirrors are involved in a lot of lane change crashes, and Tesla's camera system could reduce those incidents by 40%. Also, there's no delay digital vision responds in under 0.1 seconds, which is faster than a human can react. No mirrors also mean fewer parts, simpler manufacturing, and lower costs saving $150 to $250 per car, and potentially reducing insurance costs by $1. 000. Over five years because of fewer collisions. If Tesla rolls this out globally by 2026, 30 to 40% of the EV market may follow. That's a huge shift. The cameras will even adjust to your height and seating angle, reducing neck strain especially helpful for older drivers. Finally, let's talk about the inside of this prototype. While we don't get a full view of the cabin, we can learn a lot from what's visible. The shape of the windshield, the angle of the glass, 
and the position of the driver's seat all suggest this will be Tesla's most minimal interior yet. There's probably no instrument cluster, no gear shifter, and no stocks or knobs at all. Instead, we're likely looking at a compact yoke or simplified steering wheel, paired with an 11-inch central touchscreen just like the latest Model 3 Highland. Reusing parts like this saves Tesla time and money up to 40% on development and speeds up global production. But it's not just about cutting costs. Tesla wants to change how you interact with your car. The screen will control everything climate, music, drive modes, and more. There won't be a single button. The car will respond to gestures, voice commands, and even learn your habits over time. And because of the structural battery and the clever way the front trunk is designed, Model 2 will offer nearly two 850 liters of interior space almost as much as the bigger Model 3. There are 17 storage compartments adding up to 89 liters the A, most in any EV of its size. This is smart design, not cheap design. It's built for daily life, whether you're a city commuter or a retiree. And because Tesla is using one global layout, they can build the same car for every country without needing separate versions. That reduces manufacturing complexity by 78% and allows production at gigafactories in Mexico, Berlin, and Shanghai all in the same year. This isn't just a budget creates a turning point. Elon Musk has been talking about this kind of manufacturing revolution since 2023. And now it's finally real. What we saw in those spy shots proves that Tesla is reshaping how cars are built, priced, and used. And if this is what they're testing out in the open at Fremont, just imagine what they haven't shown us yet. Stay with Torque Element as we continue following this journey because bigger surprises are coming that might make today's leaks look tame.